Hey everybody, what's up? Chuck here, PowerAddicts.com. Here's my dilemma. 4.7 liter Dodge, 2003 Dodge Durango. Had to put head gaskets on, new timing set, and all that good fun jazz. Put the harmonic balancer back on. The balancer tool I have does not work. Went to every auto parts store around here. Went all the way into Nashville chasing one down. They claimed would work, none of them do. So you know what? Pull out the welder, buy a bolt that fits the crank, make it yourself. So you check it out. Here we go. A little demonstration. He's cranking it down. If you watch back here, as he turns it, see there, it's sliding right up on it, just as sweet as it can be. Nifty tool, saving my tail, all for about. I might have got ten dollars into it now. Do what? We we'll get this impressed in. We'll show you how it's made. Hang tight. Be right back. All right, everybody. Basically, here's how it's all made up. Couldn't find the the crank on the uh, Durango. The thread pitch here was so far up inside of it that none of the uh, loaner tools or whatever at the auto parts stores had anything long enough that would go up inside there. So necessity says, gotta make it. This bolt is the proper pitch for the crank. And what I end up doing is cutting it off right here. Because you can see, here's the head of the bolt right here. Chopped it off. There. This part here is just a half inch 20 all thread. Took and butt welded them together. And this little bit thick right here is because I welded the sleeve right now. I just want to make sure it was good and strong. Probably wasn't necessary because it went on pretty easy. but. Hey, I'd rather be a little bit reinforced and say, damn it, I have to do this again. And here you have the little thrust bearing that comes from my pulley installer set. Stack a bunch of washers to put the nut out here where you need it, and you're rocking. You've seen the video, we just let it push it down, no problem. So check it out, make you one, and just think about it. Ten bucks there, roughly. You can make one to fit whatever crank you got 302, 302, Chevy 350s, 440 Chrysler. Hell, it could be a Nissan. I don't care. But you know it's the same concept no matter what it is. You get the right size boat to go in the crank. Weld you another one on here. And you're good and rocking. Alright. Everybody check out the site. www.poweraddicts.com Y'all have a good day. Peace.